One of the most widely believed theories about Amelia Earhart's disappearance is that she and her navigator, Fred Noonan, veered off course while flying to Holland Island for a pit stop. They radioed for help when they couldn't find the island, but it's thought that they ran out of fuel and crashed into the ocean. This crash and sink theory suggests that the plane sank, leaving no trace of Earhart and Noonan. One theory suggests that Earhart didn't make it to her planned refueling stop at Holland Island, but instead landed on Gardner Island, now known as Nicomararo, a deserted coral atoll nearby. It's believed that she survived the landing but unfortunately passed away before she could be rescued. This theory has gained traction in recent years, as artifacts possibly linked to Earhart have been found on Nicomararo. These include a jar of the freckle cream she used and a piece of plexiglass similar to what was used in her plane. The International Group for Historic Aircraft Recovery Tire, has even launched an expedition to the island to search for more evidence. Was President Franklin D. Roosevelt involved in Amelia Earhart's disappearance as part of a spy mission against Japan? Some people think so, but it seems unlikely. Earhart's flight path took her on a journey from California to South America, across Africa to India, and then to a refueling stop at Howland Island in the Pacific Ocean. According to the official account, she never came close to Japan, and her flight was widely covered in newspapers around the world. The theory that Earhart was a spy comes from a 1943 movie about her, but there's no evidence to back it up. There are some pretty interesting theories about what really happened to Amelia Earhart when she disappeared. In 2017, a team of investigators found a photo in the National Archives that they think might show Earhart and her navigator Fred Noonan after they went missing. They believe that Earhart crash-landed in the Marshall Islands, was captured by the Japanese military, and died while being held prisoner on the island of Saipan. Another investigator, Les Kinney, found a photo from the Office of Naval Intelligence that he thinks shows the electroplane being towed on a barge, with Earhart and Noonan nearby. This theory isn't new, it first came up in the 1960s and is based on accounts from Marshall Islanders who claim they saw the plane land and saw Earhart and Noonan in Japanese custody. In 2015, Kinney and another investigator found metal fragments on Mealy Atoll in the Marshalls that they believe came from Earhart's plane. In 1970, a book proposed an interesting theory about what happened to Amelia Earhart. The author suggested that she survived a plane crash in the Pacific Ocean and was taken captive by the Japanese. According to the book, after World War II, the United States found her in Japan and brought her back to New Jersey secretly. There, she supposedly changed her name to Irene Bolam and worked as a banker. However, when the real Irene Bolam heard about these claims, she denied them and even sued the author and publisher for $1.5 million. Although the lawsuit was later dropped, experts who looked into Bolam's life and compared her photos to Earhart's concluded that she was not the missing pilot. In 1943, during World War II, some Allied airmen claimed they saw Earhart working as a nurse on Guadalcanal. But it was probably Merle Farland, a nurse from New Zealand, who looked like the missing pilot. According to the 1977 book Lonely Vigil, Coast Watchers of the Solomon Islands, Farland caused a bit of a commotion on Guadalcanal, where she was the only woman among lots of troops waiting for transport. The rumor about her true identity might have been started by soldiers who were sick with malaria and other diseases and were having hallucinations. Could the mystery of Amelia Earhart's disappearance be linked to New Britain Island? This island is located along the route Earhart was flying when she vanished. In 1943, an Australian soldier claimed to have found an aircraft engine with a serial number matching the type used in Earhart's plane. However, many planes in the area also used the same type of engine during World War II. It seems unlikely that Earhart, who reported running out of fuel near Holland Island, could have flown 2,000 miles to New Britain with the little fuel she had left. There are lots of stories about what happened to Amelia Earhart during World War II. Some people say she ended up in places like Saipan and Guadalcanal. Right after the war, there was a rumor that she was one of the women who spread Japanese propaganda on the radio, known as Tokyo Rose. Her husband, George Putnam, looked into this and listened to lots of recordings, but he couldn't hear Amelia's voice.